It's older than most of the pilots who fly it, yet it still outmaneuvers jets twice its price. In a sky dominated by invisible stealth fighters and next-gen war machines, one fighter refuses to fade away. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, a jet born in the 1970s that still terrifies enemies, dominates battlefields, and keeps America's air power alive. But here's the question no one asks. How can this vintage fighter, sir, survive alongside billion-dollar machines like the F-22 and F-35, and in some ways, outshine them. Today, we're about to uncover secrets, shocking facts, and deadly truths that the Air Force doesn't want you to know, the birth of the F-16, a revolutionary design. Picture this, it's the early 1970s. The Cold War is at its peak. The world's most powerful air forces are locked in a deadly arms race. And the United States needs a fighter jet that's faster, deadlier, and cheaper than anything else in the sky. Enter the F-16 Fighting Falcon, a jet that would not only change air combat forever, but defy the odds of time itself. The F-16 wasn't just another fighter, it was a radical experiment in aviation technology. The designers at General Dynamics had one audacious goal. Forget the old rules. Let's build a jet that's lighter, more agile, and so maneuverable that it can literally outturn any enemy in a dogfight. Here's where it gets shocking. The F-16 was designed to be aerodynamically unstable. That's right, in the air, it wants to flip, roll, or crash. But with cutting-edge, fly-by-wire technology, the computer constantly adjusts control surfaces, keeping the jet alive and making it incredibly lethal in a dogfight. Imagine a fighter so unstable, it would fall out of the sky without constant electronic control. Yet in the right hands, it can twist and turn faster than most modern jets. It introduced innovations no one had seen before. A bubble canopy for full 360 degree invisibility, side stick controls for lightning fast reactions, and a lightweight frame for speed and maneuverability. When it first flew in 1974, pilots called it like flying on rails. Even today, decades later, the F-16 pulls nine Gs in combat maneuvers, proving that sometimes old can still be deadly. How could a jet born in the 1970s still dominate skies filled with billion dollar stealth fighters today? Keep watching because the answer will shock you on paper, the F-15, F-22, and F-35 look unstoppable, faster, stealthier, and packed with technology. The F-15, F-22, and F-35 may look unstoppable, Mach 2.5, 2.25, 1.6, packed with stealth and tech. But the F-16, Mach 2.05, lighter, faster in a dogfight, and cheaper to fly than a third of the F-35. It twists, turns, and strikes with deadly precision back in the air in hours, while the giants sit grounded for days. Multi-role, battle-tested, and unstoppable. This is why the F-16 still rules the skies. At roughly $22,000 per flight hour, it costs less than a third of the F-35 and a quarter of the F-22, yet it can fly more missions in a single month. Weighing just 1,900 pounds empty and standing 16 feet high, it's lighter and more agile than the massive F-15, allowing it to twist, turn, and outmaneuver heavier jets in dogfights. Maintenance? The F-16 is legendary for quick repairs, often returning to the skies in hours rather than days, while the F-22 and F-35 can be grounded for weeks. Add in its multi-role capability, bubble canopy for full 360-degree invisibility, and side-stick controls for lightning-fast reactions, and it becomes clear, in the real world of combat, the F-16 is a lethal, cost-effective, battle-hardened predator that even modern giants struggle to match. Step inside the F-16, and you're in the cockpit of a predator. One pilot, one stick, one throttle, controlling a jet capable of twisting through the sky at Mach 2.05. The bubble canopy gives 360 degrees vision, 
letting pilots see enemies before they're seen. Every control is at their fingertips. The side stick allows lightning fast maneuvers. The HUD displays targeting and threat data instantly, and the avionics network fuses radar, communications, and weapon systems into a single deadly brain. In a dogfight, it's not just the jet that's lethal, it's the cockpit itself, turning human reflexes into razor-sharp precision. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, first flown in 1978, quickly became one of the most successful multi-role fighters in history. Its combat reputation began with Israel, where it destroyed Iraq's Osirak nuclear reactor in 1981 and scored dozens of air-to-air -air kills against Syrian MiGs in 1982 without a single loss. During the 1991 Gulf War, US F-16s flew over 13,000 missions, striking Iraqi tanks, air defenses, and command sites. Proving themselves as reliable bomb trucks. In the Balkans through the 1990s, they shot down Serbian jets and carried out precision NATO strikes. While in the 2000s, they became essential in Iraq and Afghanistan delivering close air support and precision strikes against insurgents. Used by over 25 nations, including Pakistan, Turkey and Egypt, the F-16 has consistently shown dominance, boasting an estimated 70.1 kill ratio worldwide. Agile, affordable and endlessly upgradable, it remains one of the most combat-proven and feared fighters ever built. If the F-16 can do all this cheaper and faster, why buy more F-35s for routine missions? The F-16 may be over four decades old, but its story is far from finished. With upgrades like AESA radars, precision weapons, and cutting-edge electronic warfare systems, the Viper will keep soaring well into the 2040s, still feared by its enemies. But the real question is, can this veteran fighter continue to dominate in a new era ruled by stealth giants like the F-35, J-20, and Su-57? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most powerful war machines. Because one thing is certain, the battle for air dominance is only just beginning.